Hello, I'm Arxis the new Bulov. Today I'll tell you how to conveniently use a palette. At the end of the video I'll tell you how you can keep the colors on the palette fresh for a longer time so that the paints don't dry out and how these colors can be then put back into the tube. You need to place colors on a palette in a certain sequence. For example, it's logical to place them ordered by their warmness or coolness and by color spectrum like this. In other words, here I have cool colors and here I have warm colors. Here they are placed in the sequence from violet to green, like the rainbow sequence. And here is the same from red to green. Organizing a palette like this will save you time and your nerves because your eyes will not have to constantly search for the right color on the palette. In other words, if you arrange it like this, it's not very good, it's very disorderly here. And if you place the paints in a chaotic sequence, you will need to constantly search for the right paint every moment. That is, it's better to get used to this at the beginning. It's also better to place the mixes on the palette in a specific order. I think it's comfortable to place them as they will be placed on the artwork. For example, if I need to use two adjacent colors in a painting, one of them is this, and the second is this, and on the palette I'll mix them close to each other, so that they touch each other. In this case I'll clearly see how they match each other and interact with each other. It's better to mix the colors that are adjacent on the artwork in distant places on the palette, for example here and here. In other words, doing this isn't very good, because it will be hard to compare, for example, this color and this color. The thing is that there is a significant distance between them and they have different surroundings. This color is surrounded by red colors, and this one is surrounded by the cool colors, blue and green. And the adjacent colors influence our perception of the colors. In other words, in this case this color is surrounded by the cool colors, and seems to be redder. And this color is surrounded by the red colors, and seems to be more yellow. For example, if we take this color and place it here, we will see that there is actually no difference between them, but they seem to be completely different. Please, write in the comments, have you ever had colors that looked beautiful on the palette, but later looked bad in the painting? The durability of the paint depends on how many pigments are used in it. And if additional substances like varnishes and thinners or some oils were added, also the different pigments have different durability. What is durability? Durability is a characteristic of the paint which allows it to last longer. That is, if the paint has poor durability, after a short time the paint will fall off the canvas or crack. If we use high-quality paints and mix them correctly, they will look fresh and new longer. The durability of paints influences the price of the work. That is, the more durable your work, the more it costs. On the contrary, the less durable it is, the cheaper it is, because it will need restoration. Most technologies studying the characteristics of the paints believe that mixing additional substances in the paints reduces their durability and the stability of their color. I am very glad that I was taught in my art school to use paints without mixing additional substances. In other words, I was taught to paint with viscous oil paints. After you are done painting, paints can be cleaned from the palette with a palette knife and then placed on a rack. After that, the rack can be thrown away. If you use some expensive paints and you don't want to waste them, 
you can do the following. Take a paint and its tube, push the paint back in the tube, knock the bottom of the tube and the paint will fall inside. This way you can place the paint back in the tube. And one more secret. Oil paints don't get dry in a dark and cold place. So, if you have mixed a lot of colors on the palette and you need to save them, for example, till tomorrow, you can take the palette and place it in the fridge during the night. And then the next day, when you will go to paint, bring the paints out to warm up. The paints will harden when they get cold, but they don't dry out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button under the video so you don't miss new videos. And make sure you visit my site and subscribe there for the newsletter with new lessons. After this video you can watch the video on how to clean the palette and brushes.